Hey, it's Mac. Welcome to Holistic Health Talk. Hey, today, y'all, I have a guest that, oh, man, I think y'all going to like her. Hey, Danielle, how you doing today? I'm well. How about you? <laughs> oh, everything is fine over here. Hey, why don't you talk to our, our viewers and tell them a little about yourself and what you offer, what you brought today? Yes. Well, my name is Danielle Nicole. I am the owner of the Lotus House that will be launching very, very soon. I am a certified wound practitioner. I am also a future herbalist. And my company pretty much offers uh, all things helping with wound care, all things holistic, and all things with helping women sp in spirituality as well. We go by our slogan is stand in your power. And you can stand in your power by just being strong and just, you know, thinking about your health and just taking care of that wound with health wise and spiritually. Oh, wow. Sounds good. Yes. So, you know, Womb healing. I know for me, I, I was thinking of midwifery, but you you don't actually deliver babies, right? No. Okay. Uh, so why don't we get a little bit more involved right now and just talk a little bit more about this uh, womb healing? Yes. Well, womb, we offer the, what well, my business offers the steams for womb steaming. Um, a lot of people might... Uh, learn it as the yoni steaming is basically when a woman is sitting on her herbs that actually opens your 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 womb up that is called i'm sorry that's being caused by blockages that might give you problems such as you know um yeast infections bacteria vaginosis mm -hmm. endometriosis fibroids all of that in the above so basically um just using the potency of the herbs to help you heal in that area and also following a plant-based diet helps you as well. Okay. You said the yoni steaming. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, that that's what a lot of people call it. I, I personally call it womb steaming, but I mean, it's in the same family. Oh, okay. All right. So it's using steam and also you have uh, herbs that yes. are the herbs also diffuse some way yes. with that steam? Yeah. So basically the whole process is uh, you will sit over a pot um, of steaming herbs and then you wow. will sit on it and let the herb just open you up and it like i said a lot of times a lot of women that are having these experiences such as fibroids and every, everything like that is a blockage there so mm -hmm. the, the potency from the herbs are helping in a way with anti-inflammatory you know those type of things so oh, okay. that's what the herbs are doing yeah well just to give a uh some of my viewers a little more info about mm -hmm. the herbs because you know i'm i'm into all kind of herbs yes uh are you using like the the uh, raw natural uh herbs or are you using essential oils or no, what, I, what, which one? i wouldn't i don't recommend using essential oils we just use our our own uh sorry natural herbs as well yeah Oh, okay. So like the whole uh, herbs, the plants you can get in raw form in some yes. of these stores and stuff? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. All right. So do you have anything you can tell us about uh, maybe some of your clients, friends, family, or something like that, you know, uh, that you've worked with or helped or had mm -hmm. some experience with, you know, uh, these different healing practices? Mm -hmm. Well, the first person that um, comes to mind is my mother. Um, she actually had fibroids before a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, around that time, you know, I, I was really young at the time. So womb steaming, you know, wasn't, you know, in the, in her chapter, but mm -hmm. she was definitely a huge encouragement for me to to get into this business because although you know she she got over the fibroids her uterus is still intact you know her health conscious was like well i don't want to get that again so you know i did work with my mom she was actually my tester when i was going through my certification oh, right. and we did the steaming together and you know she felt really good about it because she wasn't educated on what it can do for her it just you know her biggest fear was going through that again because it you, that could happen you know, so even her herself went through changes with um, cutting off dairy. I, I just was saying dairy is a murderer for woman's moon, wow. <laughs> for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, for so her, mm -hmm. 
So, you know, she's definitely someone that I had worked with when I was going through this per- the, the process of getting certified. And then as well as women that has had, you know, some issues with yeast infections and bacteria vaginosis, but that also leads in- to what you're eating as well. You can, we can do as many womb steamings as possible, it, but it can come back because what, what are you eating? What are you putting into your body that is, that is making you, you know, your body react? Because a lot of times, our bodies are giving us a message, like something's wrong with what you're putting inside me. You know, I would think the first thing people would see is acne on your face. What are you putting inside your body that's causing this acne on your face? (laughs) Right. Yeah, it's so true. I mean, it's something that I used to run up against a lot when in my uh, early days when I was uh, uh, helping people, you know, with their health and stuff, uh, because they don't look at it as a lifestyle change. And that's what it should be, you know. And I know that's not easy for a lot of people, but I try to tell people to take baby steps. Mm -hmm. You know, when you take the baby steps, you know, then you can start to change your life, you know, because that's what's going to help you to stay healthy, you know, happy and pain free, like we say here at Holistic Health Talk. No, I mean, to be honest, what, what led me into doing this work was, for myself, I didn't have any major health issues. Um, my mom was definitely a wake up call, but I kind of started getting to this because um, not too long ago, a few years ago, the uh, the rapper Nipsey Hussle, um, oh, wow. before he passed away, he started bringing up Dr. Savia as well. And his question was, why are we not discussing this, you know, in the, in the work that he did, you know, Again, because like I first heard of Dr. Savi when I was really young, when uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez, which is another entertainer, was under his care as well that passed away. So at that time, I'm like, oh, OK, I heard of his name. But when Nipsey started talking about it, you know, it was few, not too long ago. I just it was a feeling that I had that it just was like, OK, something's not right, because even for myself, I didn't have any major health issues, but I did have some little bit of uh, of problems with like my menstrual. It was very, uh, I had really bad cramps. You know, it was pretty heavy. And I'm just like, when I started learning about plant-based, I started learning that I can fix that. So, you know, I just, one day I was just looking in my house and I'm like, this canned food has to go. (laughs) This, This red meat has to go. This other stuff has to go. So I threw out everything. And, you know, and for a lot of people, like you said, people should take baby steps, but I just was ready to get rid of it. And I start feeling bad whenever I did, you know, start, you know, went to the side and maybe had some chicken. I'm just like, I don't feel right eating this anymore. So after that, I kind of went to more of a pescatarian diet. I did stop like eating, doing the milk and everything. Cause like I said, that was was, what was causing my heaviness during Mm -hmm. my menstrual. So I cut that down a lot more, but for myself personally, since I've made these changes and even with wound steaming, my menstrual is, is, is a beautiful time for me really, because I don't, I don't go through that anymore. So when I start opening myself up to that, and then what, what other things a plant-based diet can do for other people with not just, you know, fixing your menstrual book, what about women that can't get pregnant or having a hard time getting pregnant? What about people that are are not even just that, just having just what, even like what, um, what am I trying to say, like acne problems, people that have problems with their hair falling out. What can you do to change that? Because the medication, okay, as soon as you stop it, you're having these issues again. So the medication is masking what is going on. So what if I told you that we can put a stop to the issues that you're doing by changing your diet, by taking these herbs. Because at the end of the day, mother nature has always provided. I was looking at a um, ginger the other day. Okay. Just the, you know, the ginger, I'm like, this looks like a stomach. Ginger is great for the stomach. 
So it's like, it is. It's, it is. So yeah. it's just so much that, and I'm still learning. I'm a baby in this. I have to be honest. I'm just, okay. just now really learning, but I'm just like, wow, look at what we can do to heal ourselves, you know, and take away from medication that has become addicting at this point, because now it's like, well, if I stop taking my medication, this is going to come back. No, you got to change some things because guess what? Cancer and, and high blood pressure, it doesn't run in your family. It is a bad habit that happens in your family. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's the mis the misinformation and the miseducation. Yes. And I was I was just kind of uh laughing there and smiling. One of one of my uh uh viewers who's uh pretty close to me, my ne my nephew, he mm -hmm. loves ginger. That's one of his, you know, between mm -hmm. beets and ginger. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all he talk about when I ask him about stuff. Yeah. So, there you go again, but you got in my video <laughs> with the ginger, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know how well it is uh, here at Holistic Health Talk mm -hmm. uh, for the stomach, definitely. But my little take on it, when because uh, I was in the Navy, and it also helps motion sickness. So Ooh. when we was out there on the Atlantic Ocean on that little bitty ship, and mm -hmm. we was uh, getting 14-foot swells and stuff in the Bermuda Triangle, you better believe it. I had ginger on mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I was taking ginger like mad because, man, having to walk around on that ship and you be throwing up and stuff, and oh, we yeah. still have to work. It ain't yeah. like you go and go to your bed. They be like, "Come on, you got to go to work." You know? Yes. They say take a rag with you and just clean up the vomit as you go. Oh my gosh! So you didn't it have is, time for anything. It is crazy. Yeah. Oh no. Wow. You, if you get sick there, it's you still gonna have to work. So I definitely had ginger, and uh, of course I I kind of turned a few people on. You know that was there. Some of my other. Uh, uh, co-workers with the herbs and stuff because I was really getting into them there. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say that about the ginger, but yeah, it definitely is is a lifestyle change. People have to look at it, yes. you know, is that, you know, to change your life. And yeah. stress is, is a big issue with a lot of things. You know, that's how I got into this whole, you know, industry, I'd say, is mm -hmm. because I was stressing myself out and, you know, the whole uh, idea of uh, stress and what it does to the body yes. know, is just unbelievable. And so, you know, we have another product that's called Natural Changes, which is for women and usually those that are uh, postmenopausal. Uh, and we have herbs for uh, menopausal women, too. But yes. most of them that I deal with seem like I'm in up in age, so I'm dealing with that generation. Yeah, most of them are, you know, postmenopausal. Yeah, because womb steaming is good for that as well. Yeah. Um, for menopause as well. My mom, you know, had a, her experience with um menopause a little bit. It wasn't as as bad as I've heard some cases are, yeah. but womb steaming helps with that as well. That's on like. People, it's like I said, it's great for self care, yeah. but it's so much more than just self care. Right. Let's get more into this uh, things for women and for yeah. for uh, childbirth and and the womb healing and stuff like that because, you know, I think this is a, a real important uh, subject, especially you know for Black women because. Mm -hmm. I mean, bringing a, a child into the world, you yes. want to have the best for that child. Yes. And, you know, some people don't realize, like you were saying earlier about uh, things that are genetic. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you can turn genetics around. Mm -hmm. It's been proven, you know, scientifically, mm -hmm. people, it's been proven. You can turn genetics around. And just by getting into it right now, you yourself, that's going to have an effect on your young daughter. Oh, and yeah. The same with me. You know, I'm all into it. I've been into it for over 20 years and it, it's going to have an impact on, uh, you know, any of my uh, kids or mm -hmm. or even my relatives, mm -hmm. uh, because I remember here's another one <laughs> using my, my niece. She's not little and young no more. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know Keturah, but mm -hmm. the first herb she took 
was one of our products called CCA for cold and flu. Mm. And she was running around, had a, a temperature of 102. And mm. my mother's, she was, she was a nurse. She's not here now, but my mother was a nurse. Mm. Uh, bless her, her heart. You know, she's resting in heaven now, but and, uh, you know, so she was looking at, you know, couture and everything. And then, you know, I was just getting into the herbs and I took one capsule, just one, and I gave it to her, let her swallow it with some water. And I think she was probably around four, maybe somewhere mm -hmm. around that. Mm -hmm. And then within 30 minutes, you know, wow. she was running around and then when she had the fever, she was laying down and, you know, making all kind of, uh, uh, you know, and then after 30 minutes, she was up and running around again. My mother said, what did you give her? She said, boy, whatever you gave that girl, that stuff works. Is yeah. Good. And yeah, yeah, it definitely is. So, you know, I think that black women can really learn something here and, you know, and be a big benefit to your families and, and mm -hmm. you know, generations, you know, because mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. Generations to come, you know, give them something that's going to fortify them. Yeah. OK, fortify them for the future. Yeah, because uh, you know what? The, the first thing I think about is, you know, years ago, we depended on natural remedies many years ago because we couldn't afford to go to the doctor. So yeah. a lot of issues that and not to say that women back then didn't have issues, but a lot of issues that women are having now, they didn't have all that back then. So that brings the alarm to me, because, like I said, Nobody was going to, a lot of people were scared to go to the doctors back then because they just, you know, a lot of, I'm reading this book called For uh, Working the Roots. And it okay. talked about how, you know, back then they were going there, there in back of the house and find some herbs, steam them up, drink this, True. knocked yeah. out, back to True work, that. you know? So yeah. it's like now you're seeing so many women have these issues where they have to go as far as getting their uterus removed. Because it's like the doctor, that's the first thing of, you got to get your uterus removed. And then as a woman, and I'm not taking anything away from a woman that had to go through this, unfortunately, but it makes you, you're losing a, a huge part of your womanhood yeah. by getting that taken away from you. True. So it's like, at this point, what do you, what do you need to do? You have to change and make this a lifestyle because it's like this fast food, the dairy, red meat. You know, I, and I can go on and on. This is this is killing us. You know, True. this is it killing is. our ability to bring birth into this world. So it's like when you when you when you cut those things off and realize that you can heal yourself. You know, you you look at life so much differently, and we start going back to those times where it's like, I'm and like I said, I'm try, I'm trying not to put the doctors down, but not everybody's for saving you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I don't know. Like for me, I would tell a woman, you know, what, what, do you, what would you tell your daughter? You know, if, if, if this was her situation, would you tell, would you, would you not give her the right things? So this is not a continuous thing, you know, because I, I hear a lot of women, well, I, if I do this, I can't leave this alone. I can't, I can't stop eating this. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. like, it's, it's just right now, with with learning that I'm learning, like I said, I'm still learning because it's so much. I'm I'm still getting into herbalism and stuff like that. But the things that I do know, and as far as womb steaming, you know, this has benefited a lot of women that I know. You know, but the first step is you've got to change your diet. Yeah. You can come and get your womb steam. You may see a difference. But if you go back to getting dairy and, and doing your pastas and stuff, you're gonna be back to me. And I'm like. All right. At this point, I'm not going to keep giving you a womb steam because you got to make some changes. Here. <laughs> yeah, true. Wow. Yeah. OK, so is there anything else that you want to talk to or uh, tell our viewers, uh, Danielle, before we uh, close off? If it, if, what I would tell people is to back to my slogan that we have for the Lotus House, you know, if you have been considering you know, making some changes, never ignore that feeling, you know, because like I said, when I when I decided to make this change, it was a feeling that I had was just like, this is not right. 
And it wasn't, <laughs> it, it wasn't. So it's like, at the end of the day, you know, I always want to tell people that are watching right now to stand in that power to make the change. Because when you change, everybody in your community changes, your kids is changing, your kids' kids change, you know? So stand in that power with, you know, making the decision to put your life first, because this is, we're talking about your life at this point to, you know, make the adjustments. And like I said, this is not going to be an overnight thing. You might not be able to do what I did by taking everything out the cab. Cabinets, but uh, you know, take a step and and fully get understanding that people like Dr. Sabi and the and the other guy that, that you mentioned, they put their life on the line to get this in in, in what we're doing. Because let's be real, yeah. we're putting not nobody want to hear this. You know, you got people that are on Instagram that try to you know encourage people, and they're getting shut down. Their pages are getting taken away. Wow. So you are you know we're making a difference by you know really living in our purpose by educating other people, and it's like you. Make the step, stand in your power. <laughs> that's what I would say. Definitely. All right. Hey, well, that's all we have today, folks. <laughs> Thanks for watching Holistic Health Talk.